Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys a brand new 2024 album review. And as you can see below the title, today we're going to be talking about the new album from the band Amaranth entitled The Catalyst, which is out now through Nuclear Blast Records. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Amaranth, they're sort of a kind of a pop metal metal band from Sweden, been around since 2008. Um, I discovered Amaranth about a few years ago. I mean, I've heard of the name, but I haven't really checked out uh, most of their uh, stuff. But it wasn't until like during the pandemic and stuff, I really started to check out a few of their albums. I only have like three of their albums. I'm missing their, a few more of their stuff. Um, and this new album is the band's seventh full length album. And this follows up their previous album, which came out in 2020, and he called Manifest, which I thought was a pretty good album. That was funny enough one of my favorites from that year but here we are with four years later with the release of catalyst does this exceed or live up to what manifest has it definitely has i think amaranth definitely has that style with the pop metal alternative metal i don't know it's kind of mainstream a little bit but i wouldn't they're not like played on like pop radio and stuff um let's just talk about like the production on here is pretty solid um the, the let's talk about like the vocal work now for those of you who aren't familiar with Amaranth, they're a band that has three vocalists, which I believe they're like the first band to have that. And because there's bands that have like two vocalists, but with three is kind of, of wow. But they actually make it work perfectly. Let's talk about uh, Elise Reed. Forgive me if I butcher any names. Elise's clean vocals are really great. I think she puts a lot of like emotion into it, a lot of like sass, I guess. She has that kind of of catchiness to her vocals um and same thing with the the other clean vocalist the male clean vocalist that uh, nils mullen who's been with the band since 2017 replacing jakey e., now playing with syra i think uh, nils's vo vocals is really great like his clean vocals along with elise's is really just go really hand in hand and then the harsh vocals from uh this is the first album with their new harsh vocalist michael sellen who replaced uh GC6, um, and I think his he does a really great job. Like his screams and growls are on here are pretty solid. Um, the guitar work on this album is pretty tight. From Olaf, Olaf, I think his the riffs he comes up with is, is pretty good. The bass on here from Johan, I kind of wish was a little bit audible. Um, and then the drumming from uh, Morten, and I think he does a really great job with the drumming and stuff. So. I pretty much rambled on for about eight minutes, not eight minutes, three minutes now. So let's dive into this album track by track. Now starting things off is the title track, The Catalyst. Now this pretty much sets the whole mood for the album. It kind of has a little intro for about like 40 seconds, kind of like very techno-y with sort of a synthiness. And then the guitars enter, it just goes into a freaking speed race it's real this song really has everything that has to offer for amaranth has some really catchy choruses and this is pretty much why i would consider earworm music just the choruses on this album is just pretty catchy and just once you hear it it's just like man this makes you just want to bang your head or whatever <laughs> Really good so song, really great way to open up the catalyst with. And then we get into the next song, Insatiable. Now this song has a kind of a, a party vibe. It's very energetic. And this song kind of reminds me of one of their older songs, Drop Dead Cynical. Has that kind of like fun kind of vibe to it. Um, next song on here is Damnation Flame. Now this is a really great song. This is probably one of the best Amaranth songs I've heard to date. This song has almost kind of like a very neoclassical vibe to it. Probably, in my opinion, the most technical song that Amaranth has done. And I feel like this goes into like a different direction compared to some of their previous albums. And this shows a really great guitar work from Olaf. And it proves that he's one of the best songwriters, not just in metal, but in music period. And being like he's like the main songwriter of the band. His guitar and keyboard work on here is really great. And it shows off his really great talent and what he can do. Um, Liberated is up next. Now this song has a pretty interesting kind of melody line and it has a very kind of like an 80s vibe to it, but it works surprisingly and it's kind of made a little bit softer than it should be. But then the guitar solo in here is really emphasized because of this. Um, next song on here is Revision. Now the 
one thing I have to notice about the voice samples when I when I hear this song, I thought it was kind of weird. I don't know if it's like a, one of the band members or it's like an AI thing. I don't even know. No, which can be controversial with the whole AI shit. But I think it's a interesting song. I should say. Um, next song is Interference. Now I like this song. This song kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Boom from the previous Sal. Um, um, and this is a really good song. And I think that Michael had some big shoes to fill and Hill and his growls on here is really great. And Interference, I feel like shows that, uh, that Michael, Michael being like the new member of the band shows what he could do here. Um, stay a little while, while, and here's, we are at the halfway point of the album. Now this song kind of is a, I guess what I consider kind of the ballad up here where Elise and Nils sing really well and they kind of go back and forth and this song really showcases how well they do well well with the clean vocals here one of the best clean vocals I've heard so far um next up is Ecstasy which I believe is a, another great song which sort of shows the band going back up again and it has another kind of like very fun kind of party vibe to here kind of similar to like I mentioned before with Drop Dead Cynical from I forget which album but I think this song has a really great song. It's just very bouncy at times. Um, Breaking the Waves is up next. Now, this is another one of my favorite songs on the album. And this is one of the best tracks on here. It's just filled with so many details. Elise's vocals are really great with the aggressive wrists. And then Nils's singing the compliment of Elise is just really great. And just the guitar solo followed by Michael's growls is just really great here um next song in here is outer dimensions which i believe is another single on here it's very soft but has a uh, i don't know how to describe it. it has a really great pattern or guitar or vocal patterns on here here and i just think it's a really good song um resistance is up next and this pretty much shows how the lyrics on here are really great with sort of like topics of finding what's right and trying to look for a better future and i think it's just a very inspirational song lyrically and then we close things out with fine life which i believe was the first single released from the catalyst and this is pretty much the poppiest song on the album but it has a kind of a very powerful message to it at the same time it's kind of interesting so overall the catalyst by amaranth pretty good album so if i had to get this album a score i'd give this probably a solid nine out of ten so that's my review of the new amaranth album guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about it and i'll see you all in the next video and as always keep it metal